and welcome back to my base tour series. This is my base on Ragnarok. And this is my bed and my house. I have to say this is my favorite map. I have a medieval theme going here. I created this is one house. This is where I sleep. This is my little baby living room. Just You can sit in the chairs. It's just decorative. And then out here is a kind of porch that I can look over my base a little bit or look out in the front yard. There's my Giga. There's the red tower. And it's just a little porch. I have tables down there. Then we go a little bit more downstairs. A fountain in my my lovely kitchen where my dodos and compies live and my event. See I've got storage in here. I've got refrigerators and chipoas. There's my cook stove. Here's my back porch. And in here is uh, kind of a area. Right now I've got it overrun with silly animals that are all colored crazy because we had a recent event and I just went nuts. <laughs> Out here also I have my little greenhouse. It's enough where I don't have to go hunting berries to feed. This is an extended porch. I made this because um, I needed a place for the wyverns to land. And that's this side of the house up to, and it's attached to the lighthouse tower. You may recognize that. There's plenty of storage in here. Okay, I leave this house and I've attached it to another house. Here's my front porch. There's the tower. Here's the second house, which I kind of squished them together to make one big house. And I'm, I'm very happy with it. I think I did a great job. This is the work area. And uh, all the storage area where I keep, you know, weapons and stuff. Mm -hmm. And up here, I have all my tables for various things around the house. And then on the top floor, I have a uh, steampunk mod installed. There's Eek. He was tamed during, I think, the Halloween event um, when the bats came outside. And, oh, that was a lot of fun. This is a view to the backyard. As you can see, I, I'm on a cliff. It was a challenge to build up here. All right, and I have all my tables and stuff stuff and this is the back door and let's show you there's lots of options when you get back here where you can go this is the back of the house doesn't it look awesome and yeah that's a griffin tail up there you see waving another several animals I hear here from the event I just I just went crazy taming um, I added the trees um, from the tables, the echo mods is, um, are for that. Now that goes to the back of the house. This goes back to the porch. And back here I have my solar system and that's a planting bench and normally these dogs are, or the wolves are not up here but I had to have some place to put them because I will eventually upload them and take them to the island. And you see this comes around full circle. So straight across here is the tower. And this is where I keep the food. And that's an S plus trough. So I usually don't have birds on the stairs either. I don't like stepping over animals. But the S plus trough feeds all my animal land animals. So I only have one trough. And that's great. This tower, of course, I don't know if you've ever been on Ragnarok, but this goes all the way to the top. We'll just keep going. Got windows and 
There's a little bit of overlap with my house, but that's okay. Gifts to the rustic look. There's one of my griffins I tamed for the event. That's Eek. Uh-oh. I love the bats. I really do. I mean, they're not good for anything, but decorating. He's adorable. Yeah, we've got a few more rings to go, as you can see. The fence line. There's a good, very good reason for that fence line. That's the back. You can see really well. Keep going, keep going, keep going. We're almost there. Lots of windows. I don't really use these platforms, but this is where I keep my my big guy, my big main griffin. And sometimes you can, isn't he gorgeous? It's Simra. Anyway, that's the front yard. There's the porch. Alright, you'll see there's a trap door and it goes down to the garage. Jump. I have large gates decorations. I also have um, that's the front of the house. I keep my speedy plants here. My trophies and a nice row of metal gates. The reason I have it is because straight across in that pasture um, is uh, two giga spawns. And I, I frequently um, find them over there. Um, I've only had one come up to the fence. And if you just ignore it, but <laughs> you can't ignore it when you have a yard full. So here's another pin. Right now I have a bunch of, uh, again, animals from the event. And these will all be out of here, transferred out. This pit, um, be filling it with snakes. And here's some more. Here's my allosaur. They're happy to see me. I have another little outbuilding on the right, and then this is the steps. They're lit up. And here is the entrance, one of the entrances to the garage. It's kind of, like I said, it's crazy built. But you can store quite a few things. That's the door to the back porch. You can keep a wyvern in here. I also have a quetz in here. Um, and also these bears will be gone. And I also have another quits, I mean, uh, wyvern, parked over there. And there's a table, and there's a couple exits out of here, and also a ladder to back to the top porch. Which, you can see down there, is the taming pen, which I'm very proud of. I enjoy that design very much. Although I did build it uh, too low. There's, there's another exit, in case I need it. It is a, a bit crowded in here at the moment, but that's okay. I also have a keypad that closes all the gates out front and all the doors in the house. Don't leave it open. This is a little crawl space that you can get to the back if you need to. Where we there we go. automatic gate and you can see this steep incline back here um I like it the way it looks this is my my beautiful taming pen which I love it's a little complicated but it it's it's got a lot of windows so you can see and these are the S plus windows so they've got like 10,000 whatever health so no matter how much they bang and protest about being in there they can't break it. That's a zip line that runs all the way down to the beach, just in case I need to make a quick exit back up to the house if I fall or whatever. And there's two entrances here. It goes all the way around. 
You have places to shoot down at the animals to tame them. There's the little pit for the zip line and just go down like this. Pretty simple. You can see the back of the house. Keep going. There's a, a zero chance of anybody coming on these cliffs. Um, I put a light so you could see it in the dark. Then you can ride it straight down to the beach. If you call it a beach, I don't know what you call it, a giant's causeway type deal. And then you just come back up and you jump. And then you ride it back up. There's also a marker at the beach so you can find it if you need to. There you go. Boing. Out. Alright. That's the taming pen. Of course, it's always a work in progress. Uh, the trees I planted to give it a look I wanted. Gorgeous. Okay, next is the rings. And I'll show you where this goes. It goes to a cave that's underneath this lighthouse where I have put a, a tree, a platform. A tree platform. I made it in glass so I could see the animals underneath. Put a couple in there, and in here I have da -da -da, all my water animals. How awesome is that? I have some sharks and some vocilosaurus and some obviously dolphins. All right, and it's exceedingly deep, so there is no problem whatsoever with. Let me get my scuba gear on with anybody coming in here and you can put anything in here it's it's plenty deep good nice deep pool and there's only one entrance and it comes in the I put a gate here and then you have this tunnel and so far I haven't seen anything that couldn't go there the only danger you have is here when the gigas can come down here Usually I try to lead them away before they get all the way down here. Huh. I didn't close in the, the thing totally because I didn't want... I wanted to be able to, to, to fly in on the, on the wyvern. Okay, and you can walk around down here. Huh. Allosaurs also come on this beach. Huh. Brontos. Huh. You guys, um, trikes, you know, standard stuff. This is where my water supply goes up to the back of the house. This is the closest water source. The rest of the line I made invisible so you can see it. The actually, the spitty plants don't require water, you know, it rains enough that I don't have them irrigated. There's the torch, and now we can go back up. I'll show you. You obviously can take the rings on the inside. There's steps and stuff that I built, so you can also... I usually just go back up the on the rings, but I wanted to show you how you can just grab this and get all the way back to the top. Awesome. There we go. Okay, over here is the fence line. Now, because of the king line, hopefully, um, nothing big can get up here. They don't bother, really. I also have a drop in the backyard, one in the front yard, and there were uh, a couple of metal nodes in the back. Of course, they didn't respawn, but in the front, there are. 
and there's this natural area to come back around. I protect the front with two auto turrets and down here I have plenty of access to metal nodes and rocks. Ragnarok is a plenty. There's plenty of metal. Okay. To the right goes back to around the back of the house. And it's easy to bring an uh, Anklo or Diplo or, I mean, not Diplo, but Doty around the back. So, take the dragon out so you can so you can see what it looks like from the air. Mm, that's pretty awesome. There's not really a good place to put animals, but that's okay. Also, inside the the tower where I have the trop, I have a a gatherer so I, I get the eggs and stuff too that's another mod and this is the overall look I wanted it to look like a medieval kind of hodgepodge castle with some outbuildings and this goes all the way to the ridge line As you can see at the end of it there's this gap that you can run through and go down to the beach it's steep and it's kind of hard to get back up I don't even know if you can, but that natural thing, if a uh, Giga comes, would go in that crack, hopefully, and wouldn't come to the back. I've never had a problem, actually. I think I've had one Giga get even close to the house. That's when I decided to make the fence line, and they can't get over it. But the spitty plants are there to slow it down. The gates are there to prevent entry. And then the turrets are, will take one out if it gets near the animals in the house. Light of the Red Tower. It's that simple. I really love this space. I really love this map. They finally finished it, and yeah, there's all, it's just so much to explore, and I really, really like it. So, I think that's about it. Okay. Tons of wildlife here. There's the base from afar, you don't even see the house. a good distance from the, the tower. Anyway, that that's about it. I put two little ha uh, a house cube here, and there's a bed here um, right by the obelisk um, in case I want to transfer and not transfer the house and have to fly down. I can just wake up here, and then I'm right here to pull out my creature or whatever. And that about does it. So, I hope you enjoyed this base tour and um, see how easy it is just to upload and you're good to go so thank you so much for watching and we'll see you later bye